James the Red Engine. You are a mixed traffic engine, James. That means you can pull coaches or trucks quite easily. Ah, oh, yes, this is marvelous. Change of plan, James. You also take trucks instead. Yes, sir, right away. I can smell burning, James. Can you? Faster, faster! I don't want to go any faster! Use your brakes, James! <laughs> What's that burning smell, James? <laughs> I can't, Thomas! They're made of wood! They're on fire! Oh! Oh, oh. 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 It, was, it was just a bad dream. Are you okay, James? Yes. Y yes. Was it that dream again? Yes. It was, Thomas. At least it's been a while since you had the dream. That new coat of paint must be helping you feel better. You're right, Thomas. In fact, this coat of paint must be so special that it can brighten up any mood. How splendid. I'll go down to Manford and make other people happy with it too. <laughs> well, at least he's happier now. Oh, my branch line! I completely forgot about it! Oh, I hope I'm not late. Ah, James, I see you're feeling better. Glad to see you happy again. I was right, my paintwork does make others happy too. <laughs> Today, you and Edward will pull some chunks. <coughs> hmm? Oh yes, good point. You shall pull coaches and Edward will help you. Let's go and find some coaches then, James. Who is this oaf? I don't know, but he's very rude. Sorry about that, coaches. He's new to this. Sorry. You need to be careful with the coaches, James. They don't like being bumped. Trucks are silly and noisy. They need to be bumped and taught to behave. But coaches will get cross and pay you out if you do it too much. You need to be slow and gentle with them. Why don't you try it again? Excellent, he's improving already. So now we need to take these to the platform. I'll lead the way and show you how the rest of the job is done. And now we need to carefully start breaking. Oh, look, there's a new engine. <laughs> no, it's not a new engine, it's James. But with his new coat, I must admit he does look like a brand new engine. Haha, <laughs> I really am a splendid engine. <laughs> well, now he's an old engine, he can't hold his water. <laughs> My brand new top hat, James. Must be off there, Edward. Go on, come on. Oh, don't push, don't push. You're going much too fast, James. Yeah, yeah, come on, you lot. Less worrying, more moving, please. Whew. Now I just need to get this run over with as soon as possible. James was so busy worrying about the fat controller that there was trouble when they got to the station. James, we need to slow down now. Come on, come on, let's go even faster. What's he doing? James, we need to go faster, I know, but James, stop. Why? If you don't, we will pass the station. Huh? Oh! 
I told you that wasn't our train. I'm sure that it was. <laughs> then why did it pass the station? But look, it stopped. Let me out, this is my stop. This is a disgrace. Sorry, Edward. <sighs> Let's go back. Look, Sarah. Our train's been driven by Edward in a new engine. Oh, how exciting. Doesn't he look grand? Thank you. Sorry I almost carried home without you. Okay, train, check. Passengers, check. On time, double check. So far, so good. Just a little while longer and he'll be on to the next station, which is... Oh! Hello, James. Are you feeling better? Well, I... That's good. Ah, that's my guard whistle. I must go. Sorry I can't stay in gossip, but I don't know what the Fat Controller would do without me to run this branch line. Goodbye. I see someone's too puffed up in the boiler. <laughs> He's just excited, James. I'm sure you'd be the same. Once he's settled in, I'm sure he'll calm down. Oh no, I forgot the line went past here. Faster, faster! I don't want to go any faster! Use your brakes, James! I can't, Thomas! My brakes are on fire! James, calm down! They aren't on fire! Your brakes aren't made of wood anymore! Then what's that burning smell? It's probably you stopping me in the train from continuing on! What? Oh, sorry. Again. It's okay, James. I understand what you're going through, but you need to realize that it was a long time ago, and it won't happen again to you. Look, even the cows and fences are back, and that's how long it's been. Oh? <laughs> yes, so they are. Thank you, Edward. It should be easy now. Edward wasn't so sure, for he knew that up ahead was Gordon's Hill. And just as he suspected, as they started to climb the hill, they began to struggle and move slower and slower. It's ever so steep. Is there not another way around? Not that it would make us late, I'm afraid. But anyway, I've done this before, so we can do it. It's steep. But we'll do it. It's so fake. It's so very steep. But we'll do it. How far is the next station? I need a break. Not too far now. I'm glad we made it, but am I really cut out for this passenger train business? Without you, I couldn't have got up the hill. I'm sure you would have. And anyway, it's not just you. I had to help Gordon up the hill too. You, you, you mean he got stuck on his own hill? A big show of like him? <laughs> My Express is the finest train on the line. I wouldn't have you mucking my job up. Me, Gordon? I think you'll find it's you who mucks up your job more than anyone else. Just look at my top hat. It's soaked. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to. I don't care that you're sorry. I have a great plan for you. You do, sir? Yes. Luckily, old you shall receive your wooden brakes back. Ah, oh, just go away! Excuse me? Huh? First you wish it, everyone, and now you're shouting at me to go away. If you can't behave, I shall take away your red coat and have you painted blue. Painted blue? It's not my fault I had wooden brakes. What idiot designed those? I seem to be the only one who has ever had them. Not even these coaches have. Slow down, James. Be gentle like Edward showed you. Don't talk. Come on. How very rude. I can't believe anyone would speak to us like that. Yeah, well, who cares what you think? And what have I got to fetch you anyway? Gordon never has to, and he's only painted blue. A splendid one-of-a-kind engine like me should never have to fetch his own coaches. Ooh, uh, 
Ah, this treatment really is just too bad. Well, get used to it. James, this is my platform. Your platform? Just go somewhere else. I'm afraid he's right. You'll need to move to another platform with your coaches. Ha ha ha. You're still very new to this, aren't you? Yeah, well, at least I didn't get stuck on my own hill. Huh. Oh, I um, need to go sort something in my... <laughs> ha! I'll show them. They think that Gordon is the only engine who can pull coaches. Well, the only engine who can pull them correctly. Just you wait, Gordon. Come on, come on! Why can't they go with Gordon instead? You're not good enough for an express train. And neither are you. Ha! <laughs> I am, just you see. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You're going much too fast, you're going much too fast! Ha <laughs> ha, now I'll show Gordon that I would make a better express engine. That's it! We refuse to go any further with you! What's happened, driver? The brakes are hard on in your brake pipe, most likely. You've banged the coaches enough to make a leak in anything. We'd better go and see what coach it is then. And so they looked along the coaches when finally found it. All that banging around has made it joint loose. How should we mend it? Hmm. Oh, I can make a temporary replacement for it with a newspaper and some boot laces. Well, I have a newspaper, but where's the boot lace coming from? We don't have one. Ask the passengers. We need everyone to leave the train, please. Has anybody got a boot lace? No. no. Hmm. You have a leather boot lace, I see there, sir. May I have it, please? Certainly not. Do you not realize how expensive these shoes are? Expensive or not, if you don't, we'll all be stuck here. What a terrible oh, railway, railway this is! What kind of useless engines do you have on your lines? I'm very sorry, but there is nothing we can do. They've locked the door! Well, now we are stuck. Why wouldn't you just give them your bootlace? Your shoes will be ruined if you have to walk home anyway, you blithering idiot! What are you going to pay for my shoes, missus? Talking like that to a woman? What a terrible man you are. <sighs> Have my bloody shoelaces then. Right, let's get to work, gentlemen. There we go. All good to go. You can all get back in. Sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, won't give me my rain and for my shoes. I promise I'll never bump coaches again. Right, I'd better do some shunting. Can I help you? I wish I could say yes, but we are all told you were to stay in your shed door. Oh dear, I'll never be allowed out anymore. I shall have to stay in a shed for always, and no one will ever see my red coat again. Oh dear, oh dear. I see you are very sorry, James. I hope that you will be a better engine. You have given me a lot of trouble. People are laughing at my railway, and I do not like that at all. I'm very sorry, sir. I will try hard to behave. I want you to pull some chucks for me. Truck, sir? Okay, sir. Anything to leave the shed again. That's good to hear. Run along and find them. An engine called Pug should be nearby them. Yes, sir. Get rid of trucks then, James. I believe we've got some boat laces ready. <laughs> what? We want a proper engine, not this red one, sir. It's fine. We're just throwing off the rails again. You better be careful I don't throw you off them. By yourselves. Come along, come along. We won't, we won't. <laughs> like you have a choice anyway. 
Don't you dare! Slam the brakes on when the extra's hot! They should call you lots troublesome tracks. All ready to go again. You can't pull us! There's no way you'll be able to pull us. I can and I will. Just you watch me. Oh, Gordon's Hill. I have a plan, but keep it secret. Let's hear it. Where? What are you saying back there? Probably something troublesome knowing them. We'll go fast and get them up the hill before they even know it. Don't let them stop you. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Well done, James. Although I do wish the top would come sooner. But with a sudden jerk, it all became easier. I've done it! I've done it! The journey will be easy now. What? Why have we stopped? They've done it again. We've left our tail behind. We did? The coupling must have snapped. Hey, he said we will get away. But we're still stuck here. They'd better not have done this for popularity reasons. Oh, come on, come on, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shut up! That's why it was easy. What silly things trucks are. There might have been an accident. What's going... Oh dear, the trucks have made trouble for him again. Should I help you, James? No, thank you. I'll pull them. Good. Don't let them beat you. Oh, they're never going to get the privilege of doing that again. I can do it. I can do it. Come on, James, you can do it, you can do it! I can do You're doing well, James! It. I've done it! I've done it! Oh, well done, James, you did it! Oh dear, what will he say? I'm very sorry, sir. Sorry? Whatever for? I was in Edward's train and saw everything. You've made the most troublesome trucks on the line behave. And for that, you deserve to keep your red paint. Oh, thank you, sir. But that night, he became agitated. I say, James, how is the bootlace collection coming along? About as smoothly as when you got stuck up your hill. I hear he has one of every kind. I hear there was every kind of brick used to keep you in that tunnel. I don't know who let a worthless engine like you out of it. You talk too much, little James. A fine, strong engine like me has something to talk about. I'm the only engine who can pull the express. When I'm not there, they need two engines. Imagine that. Yeah, well you, I've pulled expresses for years and have never once lost my way. I seem to know the right line by instinct. Ignore him, James. It's a signalman who works the points and knows the right lines. You see, Gordon, you're not so... <sighs> Wake up, James! Huh? What's going on? It's nearly time for the express. What are you doing? Well, I... Odd jobs, I expect. Ah, uh, well, we have to begin somewhere, don't we? Run along now and fetch my coaches. Don't be late now. I'll come with you. Did you wake up in the middle of the night? 
No, why do you? We're going away. We're going away. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, you are. Although I wish I was going with you. I should love to board the express and go flying along the line. Well, one thing at a time, James. At least last night you didn't have your nightmare. I didn't have my... <laughs> You're right, Edward! How did you know? Well, the only reason you woke up in the middle of night is because of that blasting dream of yours. But, since you dealt with those drugs, it looks like you're finally free of that dream. You're right, Edward! Thank you! Oh, it feels so good to never have to see that dream again! I'm sure you will like my railway. Everything has been carefully put into action. Hmm, yes, it does look splendid. I hope everything works as it should. So do I. Look at me now. Look at me now. Goodbye, little James. See you tomorrow. <sighs> oh well. What's next? What the, what, please be quiet. <laughs> Hello, Gordon. Is it tomorrow already? Hmm. Did you lose your way, Gordon? No, it was lost for me. I was switched off the main line onto the loop and I had to go all around and back again. Perhaps it was instinct. It was... Give me my money back. I want a refund. This is a bad railway and I can't believe it. Looks like, <laughs> Looks like you're a very popular engine, Gordon. I'm very sorry for this confusion and delay, but we will find another engine for this train straight away. Another train? For the express? Oh, the shame, now, Rick. Gordon. <laughs> Who are you going to pick to take the train, sir? Hmm. Gordon can't do it. Will you pull it, James? Yes, sir, I'll try. James? Oh, the indignity. Do your best, James. That's all we can ask of you. But I'm sure you'll do a grand job. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Honestly, I think to run to catch a train that I paid for. Come along, coaches. Let's have a great run. You're pulling us well. You're pulling us well. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I'd say he's pulling us even better than Gordon does. Better than Gordon? Haha, hmm. <laughs> James! I told you you'd get there eventually. Well done. Bye bye, little tank engine. <laughs> well done, James. That was splendid. Would you like to pull the express every now and again? Yes, please, sir. Then, how about your Port X Express today? I'd love to, sir! Hello, James. I like some quiet work for a change. I'm teaching these trucks manners. You did well with those coaches, I hear. Well done, James. We'll show them. Show them how useless you are! <laughs> <laughs> James and Gordon are now good friends. James sometimes takes the express to give Gordon a rest. Gordon never talks about bootlaces and they are both quite agreed on the subject of trucks.